hello and welcome to my channel in this video we will solve problem 7 and 8 of exercise 14.1 in 11th class match let us look at the seventh problem the problem is a fair coin is tossed four times and a person win rupee 1 for each head and lose rupees 1.50 for each tail that turns up from the sample space calculate how many different amounts of money you can have after four tosses and the probability of having each of these amounts okay let us start solving the problem solution so first of all we have to take what is given to us the random experiment a fair coin is tossed four times so a fair coin is tossed four times let us write the sample space of this random experiment so s is equal to h h h h you can get all four heads okay in the four tosses or you can get h h h t right or h h uh, t t or h t t t or also you can get h h Mm, uh, th right then uh, you can get h tht okay or uh, you can also get h uh, uh, done H T H T okay T uh, H right this you can get and also you can get uh, this uh, so H T H H okay or you can get T H H H okay or T H H T or T H T T or T T T T right then also you can get T T uh, H T T T H T or T T T H okay or t uh, t uh, t t h h right or t h t h okay so this many sample points you get so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so what we will do we will write uh, each uh, singleton uh, I mean each element in terms of set to take the event ok so let E1 be the event consisting of only one sample point so that is the first one HH HH right then E2 will consider it as this this HH HT then E3 will be this H H T T then E4 will be H T T T H T T T ok then E5 uh, will be H H T H then E6 is this H T H T then E7 we will take it as this H T T H then E8 is H T H H ok then E9 
is this THHH then E10 is THHT then E11 will be THTT uh, then E12 will be TTTT then E13 will be TTHT then E14 is uh, TTHH uh, sorry TTTH then E15 will be TTHH and E16 will be THTH ok so this many events we have 16 events now what we have to do is from the sample space calculate how many different amounts of money you can have after 4 tosses ok so these are the singleton sets we have taken so either you can get all 4 heads then all heads in the 3 tosses and 1 tail like this we can get 16 different events ok now let us look at the amount for each of these event here ok so amount if E1 occurs right amount if E1 occurs will be what so E1 is H H H H so if you get head then you gain 1 rupee and if you get tail you lose rupees 1.50 by say ok so in the event E1 you have 4 heads so that means what you will get is rupees 1 plus rupees 1 plus rupees 1 plus rupees 1 right so if E1 occurs you will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4 then if uh, then amount if E2 occurs so if E2 occurs you will get rupees 1 rupees 1 rupees 1 and you will lose 1.50 by say so minus 1.50 by say ok so 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 1.5 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 1.5 is 1 1.5 right now if E3 occurs so here so rupees 1 rupees 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 so 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 right so 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 and minus 1.5 minus 1.5 is minus 3 which will give us minus 1 ok so similarly E4 so E4 will be what 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 ok so 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 so 1 minus 4.5 and that is nothing but minus 3.5 ok now if E5 occurs Uh, 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 1 plus 1 so that means you will get 1.5 then if E6 occurs uh, 1 minus 1.5 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 1, 1 minus 1.5 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 1 ok so that means you will get uh, minus 1 ok then if E7 occurs and the amount will be what 
1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 so which is equal to um, minus 1 okay then e8 if e8 occurs then 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 okay so that means um, 3 minus 1.5 is 1.5 okay similarly if e9 occurs so um, minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so this is equal to 3 minus 1.5 which is 1.5 right then if e10 occurs here so what you'll get is this minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 so 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 then if e11 occurs so uh, minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1 so what you'll get is this is 1 and minus 1.5 minus 1.5 is minus 3 minus 3 minus 1.5 is minus 4.5 so that means what we are getting is minus 3.5 okay so now e 12 so it is minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 so all minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 so that is nothing but minus 6 okay then e13 if it occurs then the amount will be minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 so that is minus 4.5 plus 1 that is minus 3.5 then if e14 occurs uh, it is minus 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 it's 1.5 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 so again it is minus 3.5 okay now if e15 occurs Uh, minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 plus 1 plus 1 so it is 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 and if e16 occurs then minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 minus 1.5 plus 1 that is minus 1 okay so all the amounts we have got so now we have to look at the common amounts okay because uh, we have to write how many different amounts are there so the required different amounts are so first is rupees 4 in the positive uh, uh, I mean you get you gain 4 right so rupees 4 is gained rupees 4 gain right then uh, if you look at 1.5 so rupees 1.5 is also gain right plus 1.5 so rupees 
1.5 gained then uh, rupees uh, no, minus 1 is lost right so minus 1.5 Uh, okay minus 1.5 oh sorry uh, minus 1 minus 1 is uh, lost uh, 1 uh, loss my rupees 1 loss okay then uh, rupees uh, 3.5 loss rupees 3.5 loss and then rupees 6 loss right here rupees 6 loss right now what we will have to do is we have to write uh, uh, first of all we have to find the probability of each of these amounts that means you have to find the probability of rupees 4 gain rupees 1.5 gain then we have to find the probability of rupees 1 loss rupees 3.5 loss and rupees 6 loss so for that we will first take this rupees 4 gained as an event ok so let f1 be nothing but getting uh, rupees 1 gain ok then f2 is getting oh, ok first is uh, 4 gained right so this is uh, f1 is getting rupees 4 gain then f2 is rupees 1 gain no 1.5 gain sorry then f3 is getting uh, rupees 1 loss f4 is equal to uh, rupees 3.5 loss getting rupees 3.5 loss and f5 is getting uh, rupees 6 loss right so probability of each of these uh, events you have to find so probability of f1 will be what so first of all uh, now f1 if we write here so getting 4 gain means which uh, sample point we have to take this 4 that means e1 right so h h h h so f1 is nothing but this h h h h ok uh, so this is the f1 in the set we will write so probability of f1 is what this that means uh, we get what uh, getting head whenever you toss a coin has what probability so getting a head is always half you know this for a fair coin getting a head is half also getting a tail is half so probability of f1 is what half into half into half right because these are independent outcomes into half right so half half into half into half will be what 1 by 16 now f2 let us take so f2 is getting rupees 1.5 gain so where we have got it here 1.5 so e2 so h h h t h h h t right or uh, this e5 so that is h h t h Uh, or uh, e8 
so h t h h or uh, e nine okay so this is t h h h I don't need this many are there. One point five gained, right? So four sample points. So probability of F two will be what? So this for this we will get half into half into half. Also probability of getting a tail is half. Okay, plus for this half into half into half. Into half, then this half into half into half into half. Okay, plus this is half into half into half into half. So that means this is equal to uh, this is one by sixteen. Plus one by sixteen. Plus one by sixteen. No, plus one by sixteen. So what we will get is four by sixteen. So there is nothing but one by four. Right. Now let us find the probability of F three. So probability of F three uh, and F three if we write here, okay. So F three is rupees one loss. So that means this minus one. So E three that is E three the H H T T. H H T T then uh, E six so H T H T then uh, okay E seven. That is H T T H. Okay, And then which minus one if we have to E seven is done. Uh, yeah, E ten T H H T. Also, E15, right? So E15 means T T H H. And E16, that is T H T H. Okay. So now probability of F three will be equal to for the first one we will get half into half into half into half right then for the second one half into half into half into half for the third one half into half into half into half. Then here for this half into half into half into half plus for this one half into half into half into half and for this one 
हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ ओके सो दैट मीन्स दिस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय सिक्सटीन प्लस 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 वन बाय सिक्सटीन ओके दैट मीन्स वी विल गेट सिक्स बाय सिक्सटीन एंड सो टू थ्री दर सिक्स टू एट दर सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स थ्री बाय एट राइट सो दैट इज द आंसर नाउ एफ फोर सो एफ फोर इज नथिंग बट गेटिंग रुपीज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव लॉस सो थ्री पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव and this one okay so e4 e4 is this http http then e th uh, e11 so tht th tt and then e13 so tht tt ht and e14 so tth T T T H right so probability of F four so four times right so if you have four elements in the sample space the answer is um, this one by four okay then F five F five is getting rupees six loss. There is only one sample point. Uh, that is minus six here. E twelve. So E twelve is what T T T T here. So uh, T T T T. So that means this is equal to half into half into half into half. So that is nothing but one by sixteen. Okay. So this is the answer. We have solved this problem here, right? Now we will go to the next problem. Let's go to the next one, eighth one. Three coins are tossed once. Find the probability of getting there are nine uh, events. Okay. So let us solve this so solution. First of all, let us write what is given. Three. coins are tossed right so sample space will be what so h h h h h h t h t h and h t t then t um t t t h t T T H and T H H. Okay, this this we have. Now uh, we have to find uh, the probability first of getting three heads. Okay, so first probability of getting three heads. So that means probability of uh, this. Only one sample point H H H. So that means what we'll get. So again, probability of getting a head is what in a fair coin. If you take so half, right? Into again, why into? Because the uh, outcomes are independent. Okay, so half. That means the 
uh, occurrence of the second outcome does not depend on the first one right so half into half we will get into half here so that means uh, 1 by 8 we will get so second probability of getting two heads so two heads means first of all this HHT then HTH right and TH here ok TH ok so what we will get is half into half into half ok for this first outcome plus this half into half into half then plus for this half into half into half so 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 that means 3 by 8 ok now let us go to the third one at least two heads ok so these are easy problems that's so we have to look at the sample space so probability of at least two heads so that means at least means also three heads can occur right so probability of h h h then two heads sample point we are today ok so there is h h t h t h and T H H right so for this what we will get half into half into half right plus for this what we will get half into half into half plus for this half into half into half plus for this half into half into half so 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 so that means we get 4 by 8 and that is nothing but half right ok now fourth one let us take at most two heads so probability of at most two heads so probability of uh, first of all no head comes also in at most two heads right so t t t there is no head right then now we will take one head sample points having one head so H T T T H T T T H H T T T H T T T H and now at most two heads. So uh, at most two heads means this. Oh, that means two heads exactly. We will H H T H T H T H H. ok so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we get uh, ok so at most 2 heads right yeah uh, so what we will get is um, half 
इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ ओके प्लस हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ प्लस हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ एंड फॉर द फोर्थ वन हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ प्लस और फिफ्थ वन हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ और सिक्स वन हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ और सेवन वन हाफ इंटू हाफ इंटू हाफ सो वॉट विल गेट इज सेवन बाई एट ओके नाउ लेट एस लुक एट द फिफ्थ वन नो हेड नो हेड सो प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ टी 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 राइट ओनली दिस सैम्पल पॉइंट हैज नो हेड सो दैट इज हाफ इन टू हाफ इन टू हाफ so that is 1 by 8 then sixth one if we take a three tails probability of having three tails so that means uh, only this same sample point like the previous one right so again 1 by 8 we will get then seventh one if we take here exactly two heads exactly two heads means this h h t h t h right and t h h i think that is it only three एच एच टी एच टी एच टी टी एच एच ओके सो दिस इज सेम एज दिस दिस राइट सो थ्री बाय एट देन द एथ वन प्रॉबेबिलिटी ऑफ नो टेल so that means this sample point h h h right only this sample point has no tail so that means we get we will get 1 by 8 here then ninth one so probability of at most two tails so probability of uh so at most two so that means h h h will be there then only one tail will take so h t h h h t t h h okay now two tails if we take uh then uh, two tails so t t h then t h t right and which one uh yeah so it is htt okay so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so that means we'll get 7 by 8 right so this is the answer so that's it in the video if you have liked the video please hit the like button if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe i will see you in the next video